you know, when you're looking at becoming a head coach, you want to come to a place that's first class uh, academically, uh, that understands what it takes to win, and is committed to winning. And I feel like, you know, Coach Harris has done such a tremendous job of that, uh, that, you know, it's just too good of opportunity to pass up. And uh, we're excited about it, for sure. Um, and a lot of work that needs to be done. So. You weren't here for too long, but do you, did you always feel and do you still feel like you're part of the Wofford family? I do. I do. I, you know, and, and part of that is being able, you know, part of that is marrying in to the family uh, with uh, with Molly and, and her family. And they, they, their DNA runs deep with Wofford. So you just obviously have an appreciation, you know, for it. Why is he right for Wofford? Well, for a lot of reasons, uh, but, but an important reason is that he gets it. Uh, having been an assistant here for three years and working under Mike Ayers, uh, he's worked with many of the coaches on our staff. He gets who we are. He gets the importance of the liberal arts. Uh, and then on top of that, he's got great experience. He's got a breadth and depth of experience uh, that, that's hard to get, frankly. So he had to, he had to complete that. You feel like uh, he was here for a little bit, so he is part of the Wofford family? I mean, he won a championship here. He got us to the playoffs two years. Uh, he stayed in touch with Coach Ayers. He came here specifically to work for Mike Ayers. And when you look at his lineage, he mentioned John Stiegelmeyer, one of the great coaches in FCS in South Dakota State. Uh, so, I mean, he's, he gets FCS and he gets Wofford. And, and, and by marrying into a third-generation Wofford family, you don't get much better than that.